So Leanne here at Fourth Bank today ahead of the SSE Scottish Cup semi-final. How excited are you in the squad going into this one? Yeah, really looking forward to it. Um, it's been a long time coming, I think. Um, just this running towards the end of the season it is very exciting for us. We've got a, a huge week uh, coming up, starting on Sunday, and yeah, against our rivals, it, it's always you know a game that we look forward to. Looking back, just you know, before we kind of go into the, the game itself, obviously you've had tough you know games in this competition, fourth performance in Stirling University, the last round against Renfrew, a side who are looking to get into SWPL2. It's been a, a tough run for your side to get to this point. You've earned your place in this competition, haven't you? Yeah, no, definitely. And I think that you know the squad as a whole is probably under place. There's been you know games within there that we've relied in small numbers, but due to injuries earlier on in the season, uh, the Renfrew game was a good opportunity coming off the back of Champions League. Um, we were able to utilise the, the squad in that game and obviously it was a fantastic result you know players took a lot of confidence from that in the performance so no we've definitely earned a, a place in this competition um, you know we hope that we can go out on Sunday and show that we've earned our place um, all due respect to the Hibs they are the, the holders of the, the cup so for us you know we give them that respect but we're ultimately looking forward to it and, and hope that we can do the job. When the draw was made, obviously, you know, you, you've got Hibs two sides battling for the league. There's not much to separate you at all. What was the emotions, perhaps, going through yourself and the rest of the squad when you, when you saw? Uh, yeah, look, the, th the thing is, we don't like losing. Um, we definitely don't like losing to Hibs, whether you, you know, play against them in a cup semi-final or a final. It hurts just, you know, just as much. It doesn't matter if you get to the final and lose. Uh, for us, we want to win the competition. So, yeah, it's, I mean, there's excitement there. You, you're going to, you know, probably play them at some point in the tournament. Um, whether it's the semi-final or the final, we, we don't mind. Um, we just hope that we can give a better account of ourselves than we have done in, in previous semi-finals against them over the last couple of years. Um, and that will start today when we get back to training. We've had a couple of days off, uh, which has been nice. You know, we've been able to wind down slightly off the back of a really busy schedule for ourselves and a busy schedule coming up you know, this week and, and on to the next. So, um, no, there's a real buzz about the squad. Um, you know, we're definitely looking forward to meeting them. Obviously, you, as you say, you touched upon it, the form that Glasgow City are in, it's in a really good place coming into this match. But the other thing, you know, you've talked about coming into cup semi-finals and cup finals against Hibs. In the Champions League, you know, given the performances you've put in, in similar kind of big games, you know, with that stature, do you think that perhaps gives you a bit of an, an edge coming into this one? Um, it, was, it certainly put us in a good place as a squad. Um, you know, you can often go in week to week. You know, Sunday to Sunday, there's a lot of time there to kind of wind down. Sometimes you can switch off. You can, you know, deflect away from um, the football. But for us at this stage of the season, it's just games. We play games. We recover. We play more games. And, and I think as a player, that keeps you on edge constantly. Um, the Champions League games have been, for t you know, fantastic. The results have been great, albeit we lost at home um, to Samatio but the performance over the two legs you know, was well worthy of taking us into the last 16 and I do think that those games um, having to dig deep you know, defend for 83 minutes you know, look to not concede that really builds a lot of character and resilience within the team. So for us, it's you know it's given us an edge as a, as a team. Whether it will give us an edge over Hibs on Sunday, um, time will tell. But for us, you know we're, we're feeling good. Um, we're really looking forward to the games coming up, and we hope that you know we can kick on and, and take a, a good solid performance from one game into the next. Now, I'm not going to ask you know favourites and what results and things <laughs> for either game, but what I kind of touched upon with Joel and. Coming into this, it's very difficult to tell who will win either game. You know, it's very, very close. As a player and a fan of Scottish women's football, how exciting is it to see the game so close and to know that we've got effectively a Super Sunday coming up here at Fourth Bank? Yeah, no, definitely. I mean, those are the games. If you if you follow any level of football, it's you know Super Sundays. As a as a player, as a fan, you look out for those results. You know, you look out for those games on TV that you can watch back to back. That you can see teams that are going head to head. Um, so it's fantastic to be part of that. It's great, and for the Scottish game. It, you know, it's, it's where it should be though. It, that has to happen, you know, season on season. There has to be that competition. Um, we're just delighted that we're part of that. Um, again, we're delighted that Hibs are there. You know, they've pushed us all the way in the last couple of years. Fantastic that teams like Motherwell and Spartans that are made it into the, the other semi-final. You know, so it's all we play for. And even that, you're seeing Motherwell, a team from another division, you know, in there at a semi-final. So it shows you that there is now strength and depth to the Scottish game, um, you know, we just hope that that continues. We, you, as a player, you love to win titles, you love to win trophies, but also it's nice to win it with that competition and, and adding that little bit of edge to the game. And we hope the fans enjoy it as well. And just finally, obviously, Hibs have won the trophy for a couple of years now. 
for Glasgow City to go on and to, to try and lift this trophy this year, what would it mean to, to the club? It will be huge. Um, you know, we're hurting for the last couple of years. As I said earlier, we don't like to lose. Um, that's something that no Glasgow City player, you know, past or present, has ever enjoyed. Um, and we keep those memories. We keep those memories from those defeats and we use that to drive us on. Um, as a player, it's never nice. But we think that, you know, as a team, we're in a good place. Um, and as much as we'll be thinking about previous results, we'll definitely be looking at Sunday and hope that we can change that.